Hey, y'all. So, it's Wednesday. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up again. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Wednesday. So, it's whispering, crunching. Let's see what we got, okay? Like shaved ice, like shaved ice type nuggets, shaved crushed ice nuggets. I guess you can call it. I want to call them ice rice cakes. That's why I want to call them ice rice cakes. But the shape isn't the best. But that's what that's what I'm pretending they are. It's good. So, how did y'all like the video with the big green spoon? <laughs> By the time y'all see this video, I will be back home. I know some of y'all are like, where is she? Is she at home? Mind your business. No, I'm just playing. But I did. Um, I'm in Texas. Again, him. I got to see my sis, Ice Baby Girl, again. We had a good time. Um, got to spend some time together, and she got to be spend time with my best friend too. And I said we all we all click. We all love each other so much, y'all. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about today was friendships like relationships but mostly on like the friendship tip you know if you hear music in the background I'm sorry this is my talking one so I'm not worried about the house being you know like quiet and stuff I'm at my best friend's house it's like my childhood best friend since we were really young, really, really young. I love her so much. She loves me. And ain't nothing, ain't nothing changed but our age. That's it. Um, Now, one thing I want to say about friends, y'all, um, and this ain't my best, this ain't my best friend I'm talking about for a little while now, but never be afraid to enter, to enter a relationship when it comes to friends. Same thing as our regular relationships, y'all, but friendships, we talking about friendships today, okay? Never be afraid to end a friendship. Remember, quality is way better than quantity. Sometimes the person you've known for the longest is not truly your closest friend. You know what I'm saying? Some people, I know I got young people in here that watch this too. You probably won't understand until you get older. And as you start seeing friendships, you know, change and things happen and stuff but you also got to know you know not to be afraid to say i did say this and i did say that you know what i'm saying but you know friendships sometimes they they, they go in seasons too like my mom told me my best friend told me seasons they move in seasons also
have one. Got you got one? Yeah, they good. They cold, don't be careful. They're cold. They soft, though. It's okay to love friends from a distance. It's okay to grow apart from friends. It doesn't mean that you don't care about them. It doesn't mean that you don't, you know, you're not part of their life. It just means that maybe they're not everyday, the everyday thing no more. Maybe it means, you know, it just ain't right no more. Maybe you changed in a certain way or they changed in a certain way. I'm about to say, but don't be afraid to end or distance friendships. Like, I'm a realist, y'all. I think I told y'all that before in, like, a live before. I'm a realist, okay? I like to be optimistic, but I'm a realist. One of my favorite things to say, I say it to my mom all the time, she said it back to me recently, was when somebody show you who they are, believe it. Okay, y'all? When somebody show you who they are, believe it. I'm not saying, but like I said, don't ever be afraid to end a friendship. Don't be afraid to distance a friendship. When you sit there and you do more for your friend than they do for you. It's just like, like I said, it's like relationships, you know. If you're the one that's loving more than the other person, then is that really, you know, the right love for you? Probably not, you know. And in friendships, if you're the one that's doing all the most, you always got to be there. And they, I'm not saying they haven't been there for you. They probably have, but you probably been there for them in way more ways than them. You sit there, you like pictures or things like that. You always hyping them up. You always doing that. But then when it's your turn, they don't do that. Pay attention to those things. But you know, you, you be your own hype girl, or hype man. Remember that hype woman, hype man also. But just pay attention to things y'all, okay? Um, let's see, I got my lashes done. My um, my best friend here in Texas, she did them for me. I look a little bit more alive, huh? Like I'm saying, just because friendship ends or y'all don't be together no more like that or things have happened doesn't mean you don't love them. They don't love you. It's just sometimes we're not meant to be around each other like that. Because like you said, you got associates, you got friends, you got best friends, and then you got people that, you know, it's like your sister. You know what I'm saying? It's like family. So...
So there's levels. And we also can grow out of it because as we get older, we start noticing what we like and what we don't like. Just like in regular relationships. Just because you knew somebody for a long, long time doesn't mean you keep dealing with things you don't like. Okay? And that's vice versa. That's for them. That's for you. That's for me. That's for the other people. You know what I'm saying? That's everybody. You don't like something and it ain't changing or too much troubles, you know, like, or it's just bringing you down or it's taking you out of character in a way that you don't like, you know, sometimes you, you have to change your, your atmosphere. Your surroundings, you know. Sometimes people that was a part of your everyday life won't be a part of your everyday life in the future. And that's fine. It hurts, but it happens. It happens with family. If it can happen with family, y'all can happen with friends. You know? Cause I have um, I have a few friends that were going through some things. We're friends. Another friend that was in another state going through his, going through some stuff that told, you know, sat down. And we all sat down as friends. She was telling about one of her other friends and. I really feel like 2024 is the year of truth. Decision making and letting go. 2024 is the year of the truth. Listen to it, y'all. Listen to your truth. Listen. Um. I'm actually enjoying this little, um, Whisper Crunch Wednesdays, you know, Crunch Whisper Wednesday. Which way I said I was going to say it, y'all? I know when I go write the title, but I'm actually enjoying it. I didn't think I was going to, <laughs> but I am. I know some people don't like it, but, and I know some, I see y'all in the comments, you know, telling them, you know, if they don't like it and stuff, but you know what, y'all, we all grown. When you become grown, and let's say you're somebody that don't like soup, right? If you don't like soup, you ain't gonna drink, you ain't gonna eat the soup. You get what I'm saying? If you really don't like soup, you're not gonna eat the soup. If so, same thing. If they don't like it, they not gonna watch it. So you know, it's okay. But for the ones that do like it, hey, that's great. It's our thing. It's our thing. They're cutting grass now. We almost done, y'all. Remember, do what's right for you. Think of yourself just as much as you think of anybody else. And remember, you can't help nobody if you don't help yourself. So you gotta love yourself first. You gotta focus on yourself first. And you know, 
trust me, there's a lot of people that already do it. Some people do it in the worst ways, but sometimes we have to, for the ones that's, that always do for others, sometimes you gotta be selfish, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being selfish. 2024 is the year of the truth, the year that people are starting to hit reality. 2025 is that we got to start living in our reality and start focusing on us and we got to start going for peace looking for peace in our lives peace 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 y'all because i'm telling you i'm looking for it i'm fighting for it i'm fighting for it every every day is a fight for me and not just for me for the ones that love me for my parents Every day is a fight. Um, and I know for some of y'all out there, every day is a fight for y'all. Some of us understand each other a little bit more than we actually know that we do. But I'm going to tell you this, if you're trying, you're fighting and you're looking for peace, sometimes you got to figure out the things that's taking away your peace. The things that are stressing you out, that's making your anxiety worse, is making your depression worse, is adding to it. You should not add things or have things in your life that's adding to the things that is making life harder for you, okay? So 2025, we're going to go for reality and peace. Reality and peace. You can be optimistic, but like I said, I'm a realist. I'm a realist. Reality and peace. That's what's going to help me. What's going to help you? I love y'all. Thanks for sitting and talking with me and listening. I'll see y'all next Wednesday on this. By the time y'all see this, I'll be I'll be back home. <laughs>